Hello everybody, I hope you're all well today. As per normal, if it's the first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It's interactions like that that help the channel stay well up in the YouTube rankings. And just as, if not more importantly, it's customers, not just visitors to our website and our Optics Weekends that help this channel keep going and I can keep coming up with new content and new ideas like I'm doing today. So what we have here is a, it's off the Skywatcher Star Travel 80 and it is a 45 degrees erect image prism diagonal. So the question is, is it any good for astronomy? Well, the answer is yes. Is it the best choice for astronomy? I would say no. But this is what you call a dual use prism. So what I'm referring to here is for use on refractors, refractor telescopes, preferably on an AZ mount because you're going to be using it for terrestrial use as well. And so 45 degrees, that's a comfortable viewing angle and you get not only an erect image with a refractor but left and right orientation correct. So it's just like using a spotting scope absolutely ideal for terrestrial use and casual astronomy the only downside well two downsides with astronomy and this this one by the way is threaded uh, for filters uh, two downsides are with it being 45 degrees as opposed to 90 degrees you may get a bit of neck strain if looking at objects high up and also you have a prism in there as opposed to a mirror and so you will be getting a little, in theory, a little bit more false colour uh, or chromatic aberration with the refractor telescopes. You can counter one of those issues by getting one of these, and this is a, a 90 degree. This is also a prism diagonal rather than a mirror, but it's a 90 degree angle. Can just uh, hold one there. So you have a 45 degree and 90 degree. So looking at things high up, you'll get much less neck strain with the 90 degree. There is still, but there is still a prism in there. So you, you're going to get those aberrations that you would not get, or you would get less of if using a 90 degrees uh, prism, uh, sorry, a 90 degrees diagonal with a mirror rather than a prism. So summing up really yes these 45 degree diagonals yeah they're, they're they're what you call a dual use they're fantastic for terrestrial you, you may have a telescope set up with a, a lovely vista out out in your back garden you like looking at nature you like going to a nature reserve you might set it up at a local estuary or along the seafront and want to look at uh, ships at sea for that absolutely perfect for astronomy, okay, bearing in mind that you, that you will get a bit more neck strain if looking at objects high up, and also you will get those uh, aberrations as well. A way around it is to get a, a 90 degree with a mirror um, diagonal as well, and have you know one for terrestrial use and one for astronomy. Uh, I know. Some people that I sell telescopes to, and believe me, I'm not, I'm not judge and jury. You know, I, I give the people what they want. And some people will say to me, I, you know, I'd, I'd rather have this side of prism because I could not get on with I could not get on with the image being left to right. I, I just couldn't work around that. And I, you know, and I, I go along with that. I, I won't say whether they're right or wrong. Whatever the customer asks for, but. If possible, uh, if, if money allows, if, if, if you have a refractor telescope, have a, have a couple of prisms. Have one like this for terrestrial use and uh, a 90 degree mirror diagonal for astronomy. Believe me, you'll soon get used to that left-right opposite orientation. The prism that I've just looked at, the 90 degree one, that was the optical hardware version, which I'll, I'll link to in the description below. And uh, you are, by clicking on that link and buying from our website, you, you are supporting our channel in more ways than you would think and it's very much appreciated. And this is off the Star Travel 80 
So what I'll do, this this is uh, unboxed. It may have a little bit of dust on it, a bit of marks. It's just it's just been out of the box. So I'll put this on the clearance page. At um, well, I'll I'll see when I, I come round to listen to it. And so if in I'll link it in the description below. If that link suddenly disappears or you click on it and it says out of stock, that means that somebody else has got there before you. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.